Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video and the final episode of Mix Set Monday. If you guys saw last week's episode, then you know I said that this week was going to be the final episode for a little while. The Monster Hunter Cross demo dropped this week, the full game launches next week, and I'm going to be moving over to cover that very, very soon. So to make this final episode special, I also asked last week for you guys to create some mix sets using the funny masks from the November DLC. For those of you that don't know, the funny masks are special because they come with an active skill. And predictably, most of your suggestions included the Garuga mask simply because of the earplugs, but there were a few other ones too. So in today's video, I'm going to showcase two different sets, plus a bonus honourable mention that I just had to include. However, on top of that, I obviously do appreciate the fact that not everyone's going to be importing Monster Hunter Cross, so I also want to help those of you still playing Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate by introducing you to a program that'll help you make your own mix sets. I'm sure many of you guys know about this already, but some of you may not. So as the famous phrase goes, give the man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach the man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. But instead of teaching you guys to fish, I'll teach you guys how to make mix sets. So stick around to the end of the video for that one. But with all that said and done, it's going to be a slightly longer episode, so sit back, relax and let's get started. And of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, then don't forget to drop a like. So to begin with, this first set recommendation comes from Firebolt Chun, and it uses the Garuga Mask, the Grand Divine IROB Chest and Waist, the Kajala Grips, and the Morales Legs. The recommended talisman for this one is a plus 4 spirit 2 slot, but unfortunately I only have a plus 4 spirit no slot, so in this particular example I compensated with a 2 slot weapon. And with 3 spirit jewel 2s, an earplug jewel 3, and an earplug jewel 1, you will get this. Challenger plus 2, which of course greatly increases your attack and affinity when large monsters become enraged. High grade earplugs to negate the effects of all monster roars. And Hone Blade, which greatly increases your weapon's attack and raises your weapon's sharpness. So for those of you guys that don't already know, that is effectively attack up and also sharpness plus 1. I do also have Detect here, but that's simply because I had plus 11 Psychic on my Talisman, but it is not actually in any way related to this set. Now the cool thing about this set is that these skills are useful for a wide range of weapons, and it also looks pretty damn cool. Now moving on, this next set comes from Alex Garcia and makes use of the false feline helm. On top of that helmet you're also going to need the Assyrian male Z, and then any arms, waist and legs that will provide you with the torso up skill. These last three pieces are entirely up to you, provided they all have torso up. Annoyingly I don't actually currently have torso up arms, I would recommend the GX Amatsu arms but I just didn't have time to grab them before making this video, but as you can see in this case I've used the Vangus Coil X and also the Tetsukaba Greaves X. Now assuming you have all of those armor pieces in place then you'll also want a plus 6 3 slot status charm. Again in my case the best I have was plus 6 no slot so I threw in a 3 slot weapon to compensate. On the decoration side of things you're going to want one status gem which will go in the chest piece and a plus 5 attack gem which will go in your 3 slots. All these together, again with the power of editing because I don't actually have the arms, will give you attack up XL, speed eating plus one, razor sharp, bombardier, and status attack plus one. And I've got to say, while it does look a little bit crazy, it's also pretty cool. It looks kind of like something out of Saints Row's Mr. Genki show. And then finally, I know this one was put in the comments as a joke, but it did make me laugh so I just had to include it as an honourable mention. Insomniac Matt's set is the Bulldrome Mask, a Lance, and some Mega Dash Juice. And then all you have to do, and I quote, is knock around everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much Matt. Now if you guys do want to make any of these sets then you can find links to them in the description box down below including Matt's one, yes that's right, but now I want to turn my attention to the tutorial side of this video. If you guys do want to make mix sets for yourself then you should download this really awesome program called Athena's Armor Set Search, often abbreviated to Athena's Ass. It's a program that allows you to put in the skills you want and it will then show you the possible armor combinations. So with that being said I know for a while you guys have been asking for a dual blade set so let's make one in this demo. For dual swords, let's grab Hone Blade, Razor Sharp, High Grade Earplugs, and Evasion Plus 1. When you open up the program, you simply select these skills from the drop down menu here, and you then hit search. Now to begin with, we get zero solutions. However, as you should probably know by now, those skills without any sort of talisman are going to be pretty hard to get. So if you click on the charms button here, you can actually add the talisman you have. On the left you select the number, then you select the skill from the drop down, and you can select these slots at the end. So for example, I have a plus 4 edge master, plus 5 expert, 2 slot talisman. Once you're happy, you then hit add, and it adds it to the list. You then close the window, change this drop down to say include talisman in the search, and we now have 18 results. The list tells you what armor pieces you need, what talisman, and what decorations. Plus, if you right click on it, it'll actually show you what it looks like. And if you have a female character, then simply change the checkbox here, and then you can check again. So if fashion hunting is your thing, then you can use this to work out how your set is going to look before you start making it. On top of that, if there's a particular part you cannot stand, then you can also go to the advanced search and take it out of the equation. And that's it. It is that simple. 
You can find a download link to this program in the description box down below. And again, you can also find links to all the mix sets from this episode down below. Now I know some of you will be sad that this series is coming to an end, but for the time being, don't see this as the end, just see this more like your favourite TV series when it goes on a season break. It will return at some point, but for now you have lots of Monster Hunter Cross videos to look forward to. So thank you very much to everyone that submitted the set throughout the course of the series. We've had a total of 14 episodes and some great sets to go with it. Of course I was never going to be able to make all of them, but if you missed any of them then you can check out the playlist in the description box down below, and also check the comments on those videos because some people recommended some great sets that I've just never had a chance to make. Either way, that is it. As mentioned, I'll have lots of Monster Hunter Cross videos coming your way throughout the week, and of course once the game launches, so stick around for those. And of course, if you guys do have any Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate related questions, then you can always hit me up on Twitter at any time. But until then, thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.